Okay guys, welcome to the Okay Kid Review Show. Now... Today we are going to take first impressions and our first look at Generation Splur. Um, well, let's say he's a mold or a chip off the old block, or you could say a son of Generation Wheeljack. But we don't have that figure. Drift. Oh yeah, Drift. We don't actually have that figure today, uh, so we'll just be using this one. <laughs> In fact, he's got under gun storage with this huge sniper. There's also a way to build a mega gun. And there's some problems with this. Anyway. Okay guys, let's take a look at him in vehicle mood. Now he does have some issues clipping together a little bit. He, uh, the very panel nature of this does not always lend itself to staying firmly together, unfortunately. It's used to be. Yes, this is um, this is a uh, not a new figure certainly, and you can see the gun poking out there from the back. It does have tail light paint, which I always appreciate, guys. Tail light paint makes the dream me. From the front, guys, he looks okay. He's got a um, like an air scoop on the roof, but he's also got what looks like a cowl induction hood, which you wouldn't normally have those two two things together. So. I'm a little confused by what they're going for there and so there is some very tight tolerances in here and I don't know what our actual issue is with this not wanting to fit together particularly well but it's a anyway tight. so we've got the wheels pinned in this is a older figure back when Generations was in my view kind of making better stuff than some of the ones I've seen lately and I, I shouldn't say better. There are parts that are better. There are parts that are really annoying on this. As you can see, this is very panel-y. I think it gives it overall a very Cybertronian feel to it, but this color scheme is, we have dark blue and we have aqua. And this aqua is an awful, awful color. I don't I, think I've ever seen I hate that this on, aqua. on a blur finger. Yeah, we've got light blue, we've got almost a beige, sort of thing here on the roof and then we have a, a really light <coughs> almost uh, eggshell almost eggshell there on the hood and the whatever this thing is here on the roof so vehicle mode I think he looks okay it just this is a lot of colors it's a lot of colors for one car I think that it's very cool to have under gun storage yeah the under the gun storage is kind of cool I, I just, just don't like the color right scheme. Out of there. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's 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 certainly unique, I guess. I guess we should get to the transformation. I want to show you something. Well, certainly. I want to show you something very cool on this figure. Um, first, take out these parts. I don't think I've ever seen a transformer that has the front parts be the arm. Well, I mean these front tire things. I don't think I've ever seen a figure like that. I think there's been a few of them that I can think of like that. I think that's fairly normal actually with a lot of Transformers where they have the front wheels attached to the arms. I just, like sometimes they do. Oh yeah! Sometimes they don't get into that so much. Is that there's, there's a lot of them. <laughs> I'm sure you could easily figure And then figure it's out. like a hide the head. Yeah, there's his head. Alright, so now to show you the cool part. Once you open these doors, you see these little studs right here? I can't, I can't see them from this distance. There's, there's just, what, what you're pointing at is too tiny for us to pick up right this second. But we can probably see it when it's in robot mood. Alright. And just gotta do, usually other people will wiggle it. You know what I just do? Pull it up. It's the easiest and most effective way to get the out. All right. See? Anyway. Uh, then just reveal the shoulder hands here. Pull 
hold up these chess pieces, and bam, you've got yourself a robot. Now, oh wait, if you want, you can also hold in these windshields. So you see those little studs right here for my fingers? Mm -hmm. Yes, guys, he is gun stored. It's almost like, so he's almost like a gunfighter, and he's got guns Actually, stored in his like, chaps. You know what he is? I put my gun in my chaps. <laughs> this is actually supposed to be the, um, ver instead of guns, oh wait, sorry, instead of little mini swords that Drift had, he has mini guns. Oh, and the best thing you can do, take both of these out, you see this big gun? You see these two holes in the front part near this part? Okay. Well, you can actually... I've always guessed that it was somehow going to be a super gun. I guessed it. Yeah, so all of his weapons can be combined. And we'll take a look at that here in a minute. Ooh! Looks like something from World War II. It does. It looks like a... Can I, let's see that. It looks like a, uh, a pillbox. Oh, this is cool. And then you can actually... See, this will swivel out so you can hold it with both hands. And uh, I think you would need to with this many guns on there at once. That's that's a neat feature, guys. That's really cool. In fact, I think I've already concocted a really cool pose. All right. That includes this. Okay. Let's see what Leo's got here. Oh yeah, he can also look up. Scope. Oh, okay. So he's doing a prone position. Yeah, he wouldn't need to have both hands on if he was doing that. Just one's fine. I guess I can do it like this. Yeah, there he is. That looks actually. That doesn't really work with this though, because <laughs> he's got all those fenders and those gigantic blocky things in the back. Just kind of. You know, it looks like guys. It looks like somebody took a bunch of car parts and made a pile of them, and then and then have a guy had a gun sticking out of them. So maybe it is pretty good camouflage. Guys, uh, yeah, Luke's coming with a lot of snow. And now he's speeding up to the sky. Yeah. With this this mega gun. Yeah, I don't yeah need... you can also do like kind of a trip position here. Let me show you that. Okay. Uh, just as soon as this guy can act normally. I've got a few other poses that I really would like to show off, including one. Oh, pretty cool. For those of you technical issues. Anyway, getting on. I'm just going to do this real quick, guys. So this is kind of what Dad was talking about. What is wrong with you? Behave, Blur. <laughs> blur. Behave, or I'm going to feed you to the Spider-Mans. Ah, yes. There he is. And then the Blur marching off to battle. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. And here's his winning pose. Like he just won the war. <laughs> Blur attempting to take down passing airplanes. <laughs> that actually be kind of funny. <laughs> All Decepticons, you know. That's how they travel. Right. Most of the time, unless you're knockouts. Right. I have thought of a word for this puzzle, and it's like looking for someone. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like he's getting ready to boogie. Boogie, oogie, oogie, all night long. Yep. Fight with guns <laughs> and shooting Decepticons. It's a Decepticon shoot off. He's got a weird idea of disco, guys. What can we say? I think this Autobot needs to have a therapist. Perhaps. Perhaps he does. That's the case. Then you can also go like. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna 
also just go like this. And he's now shooting past the airplane. <laughs> Uh, yes. He's insane, guys. Indeed. Blur is insane. Yes, and it's Plumpy. definitely Blur that's insane. And if it looks like he's getting ready to boogie, I'm going to change that. <laughs> <laughs> the dance and Blur? <laughs> that actually be a good name, but what would they... Is that, that, that's like a prom Transformers thing. Yeah. But where would it be in Transformers school unless you're thinking of rope? Um... Transformers Academy. Oh, why would Blur even need to go there? He'd be one Can't of the, imagine. He'd be one of the professors. Right. And look at this. He's like, all right, this is. I was trying to go with this pose. Like he just blew out the smoke out of his gun. Oh, I think yeah, those guns are a little too big for that. <laughs> Maybe if I just bend the head. Why don't you break my arm so I can blow smoke out of the barrel? That should be. That That's wise. Definitely do that. What about this? What is this? I I don't know. I can't see it. Yeah, that's like he's getting ready to start off a race. On your marks. <laughs> Good set. And... <laughs> and shoot some pigeons. All right. <laughs> it would be actually very ironic. If there was like a race, like a drag race, and when he shot it, he shot like a bird in the sky. Yeah, that'd be like, crazy. Oh god. I'm gonna I, lose my job after this. They've, yeah, they've used that in movies before actually. Alright, let's take a look at him in robot mood. What does this look like? Okay guys, uh, so here we are in a robot mood. And uh, I thought for a second you could light up his eyes, but nope. He's got the pretty blue eyes just the way they are. And you can you can do this to so you can expose his um, holsters. Ah, that holster isn't in right, is that? I, I'm not super in love with these holsters. I will say that they're kind of a kind of a little bit of a pain, but. All right, and this this actually his holster. You could do this. Wee my doors. This kind of reminds me of uh, Hot Shot actually from um, Age of Extinction. So and his let's need to go up there. Or Hot Shot, which is actually a repaint of Crosshairs. Yes, it is. So maybe it'd be more like. Crosshairs. I don't know if I like these clips. I mean, I guess he stands. He stands, he, he stands okay. I'm a wobbly trip. I just thought I'm the next thing to do. Let's oh see, guys, if he can do the Transformer dance. Yes, he can. All right. Um, so, I, I'm not in love with this big blocky. Look at this. This is from the side. And this is a mess. So, if you're looking at it from the front, then that's, I mean, that's good. Can't. Oh, you can kind of get his. Not really, but you can, yeah, you can kind of get his arms to hang straight down, I guess, but not like that's useful. Um, this this sort of crown thing he's got with his head, uh, yeah, it's okay. Chest plate, you can move that around if you want to. Um, in robot mode, I don't actually. He's not. Um, he's okay. Like these huge clunky legs, uh, not great. But of course we have a zillion colors of blue here again. We have dark blue, we have light blue, we have lighter blue. We've got this thing from the hood, we have white. We've got, this looks like he's got a, a gun or something mounted to the top of his head. I don't understand this. Uh, I mean, it's a radar detector. But why would he have it on his head? I, <laughs> I really don't know. Was he taken why, by the Decepticons? This makes no nervous? sense to me. Why does he have this? Do you see this blue object? It looks like a Star Trek, like phaser or something, like a hand phaser. From Star Trek? Yeah, I don't understand. I, All right, guys. So yeah, I. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we get him He's back? He's okay. He's okay in, in robot mood. All right. Do you want to get back to his legit vehicle? 
Sure. Alright, so to make it shorter, I would usually say just do the opposite of what I showed you. But since this is not that kind of review, we're just going to do it step by step. And I don't want to talk for this, so if Dad wants to narrate. Look, he's tucking the arms. He has now little short arms of <laughs> T-Rex. Yeah, so the arms fall back into the front tires. I think T-Rex Transformer. I just put him straight. Pull up the windows of the holster. This is very clever. A pass barrel to actually put the doors in the holsters. Yeah, no, that was smart. That was smart. It just, there's there's a really tight tolerance with those. I kind of wish they would have shaved the back of the guns a little bit, but I guess we can do that. Pull the chest of piece back. Oh my god. It, this would hurt as a human. Like, I can't even imagine the pain you'd have to go through to get yourself into a complete vehicle. Especially yeah, that's probably why they don't take human form. Unless you're talking about Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Oh yeah, where the one girl was. was uh, that really doesn't make sense. Yeah, I don't know if that was supposed to be like a, a Ravage type, char type character or what that was supposed to be. But. A Ravage? Yeah, this, well, like the, you know, the thing that, like in, in Prime, for instance, he shot, he shot the, oh, like a laser beak. It could be like a laser beak sort of thing. Laser. It is something similar with him also. Who's laser? Laser beak? I He's, thought you said laser beam. No, I said laser beak. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why they never made a toy. Oh, they might have for Prime or for um, Dark of the Moon because laser beak was kind of important for Dark of the Moon. Why was he important? Well, he turned into a watch, I think, at one time, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, a controlled shock for the human. Gotta be. fry them all. Okay, uh, you don't understand why the store's not. Let's see the rest. Okay, guys, there are, as I was saying, very tight tolerances to um, to this. So, and this thing, th this this windshield is a little annoying. So this is what I like to do is just put it way up here on the hood so that it, it, where it can't possibly work. And just to put it out of the way for now. Uh, let's see, so. So the... The tolerances here on these doors are just really, really, like, obnoxiously tight, especially with those guns in there. Ah! And this doesn't always want to line up. So let's see if we can get it to cooperate, which is not looking good. All right. So I find it easier to put the backs in, and I don't know if I want to continue to find it that way or not. I have to start this completely over again, actually. Okay, guys, so tight tolerance is struck again, but we've got this thing back. So that's just the thing is it, this one is, is pretty loose. And this um, part right here is just an enormous pain, This uh, where the scoop in the windshield is. So paying attention to the tight tolerances and the overall panelly nature of this is a must. Or it's just going to be Fight City and which and it likes to come off these two shoulder ball joints uh, also quite a bit. But there it is back into Vehicle Miode with his weapons do it away. Except for this one. Except for that one. I'll put it back on. There we go. But there it is, guys. The Generations Deluxe Class Blur, guys. If you did enjoy our look at this, guys, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already. 
I don't know if there will be a blue notification bell or comments. If there are, please feel free to use them if you care to do that, guys. Whether or not, please come follow us on our Twitter feed. Or updates to the channel I made by myself pretty much as soon as they happen. You can comment to videos there and... Remember to notify everybody you know about this channel. There's also, yes, do that, but there's also Twitter-specific content, such as displays that you can only find there, guys. If you use Twitter, please come follow us there. We would love to have you. I'd love to have you. I'd love to have you. But there it is, guys. One last look at the Star Wars channel and Generations Deluxe Class Blur. Oh, and by the way, I don't think we've done it in a long time. A last table can mean everything seems to We do that every video, so definitely not a long time from the last one, but uh, he is right, of course. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Remember?